Hi, my name is Chloe De Winter from Go Clo Pilates, and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Today, I'm going to take you through a morning stretch routine, so a good way to wake up your body so that you're ready for your day. Let's get straight into it. We're going to start laying down on our backs because that's what I want to do when I wake up because I'm still sleepy. So bring yourself down onto your back straight away. Grab onto your knees and pull them into the chest, giving yourself a nice big hug and really press your low back down into the mat beneath you. And then just gently rock from left to right. And as you rock from side to side, feel that gentle pressure of your low back pressing into the floor beneath you. Feel like it's gently massaging out through the low back. And then hold that still, take one hand onto each of your legs, onto each of the shins, and start to circle the knees away from one another, just bringing some movement into the hip joints, almost lubricating the hip joints. And then reverse that the other way. You can let the butt lift up and down a little bit, that's totally fine. You can make big circles or small circles, just see what feels good for your body. One more time like that, bring the knees into the chest and then take the hands to the backs of the thighs and just kick the legs up towards the ceiling. They might not go very straight at all, but that's fine. Bend them back in, breathe in, kick the legs, breathe out to bend them in and just feel that bit of a stretch happen in the backs of the legs. That's it, kick and bend just for five and four and three. Get those knees a little straighter each time last one like that bend the knees plant those feet all the way down and then open your arms out wide elbows wide palms to the ceiling i want you to slide your hips over to the left that's it just slide them over bring the knees together and then let your knees fall to the right let them fall all the way over and then twist your head and look over your left shoulder so you're in this spinal twist now you can either stay like that or take that left leg and slide it on top of the right so you're in this all deep body rotational stretch. You can also take the right hand onto the left leg and gently pull it across and just hold it there in that twist. Whole body spinal rotation, draw the left shoulder towards the mat and hold it still, deep breath in. And out, one more time, deep breath in. And out, let that go. Bring those knees back up and this time slide your butt, your hips over to the right and then let your knees fall over to the left. Twist your head, look over your right shoulder this time and maybe take that right leg and slide it forward on top of the left. You can also keep the knees stacked. Maybe take the left hand to gently draw that leg down further. Good, keep looking over your right shoulder so you get that full body rotation and just hold it there. Let gravity do the work, pulling you deeper into that stretch. Hold it still, deep breath in and out, let it go. One more time, deep breath in. And out, let that go, knees together. Lift those knees back up, slide your hips back to the center, pull the legs back into the chest and just start to gently rock up and down through the spine. So start just through the low back and then start to make that movement a little bit bigger, rolling from the shoulders down towards your butt through the whole spine. We'll go for three. And two, and on the last one, you're gonna cross your ankles over, flip yourself around, hands plant down, and then walk your knees back so the knees are underneath your hips, finding yourself in a quadruped position. Spread the fingers wide, untuck your toes, arch through the back, look up to the ceiling, getting an extension, extension through the spine, and then breathe out, round the spine, chin to chest, and push the mat away from you. And again, inhale to arch through the spine, lift the chest, belly drops down, Breathe out to round, press through the knuckles, press through the fingers, rounding the spine. Keep that going, go through nice and slow. Each time you move into each of these positions, see if you can get a little bit deeper, a little bit more extension through the spine, a little bit more flexion through the spine. One more like that, each direction. And then if it feels good for you, take that into a circle. Take the ribs over to the left, drop the belly, the ribs down, extending and over to the right and up and around. Good, getting this movement now through the sides of the ribs. Let the head just follow with the movement. Don't worry if you feel a little bit uncoordinated as you do this, we all do. <laughs> and if you are circling, reverse that the other way. 
and dip big circles around you got it for another two good one more like that big circle around come to the center and hold it still from here tuck your toes under you're going to lift your hips up and press into like a downward dog but don't stay there too long i want you to straighten your knees as much as you can and if that's not very much don't worry about it press the chest towards the thighs and then come all the way back down shift the weight forward softly melt the knees back down onto the mat. Do that again, breathe in, lift the hips, straighten the knees as much as you can, press the chest back, breathe out, take it all the way back down and lower the knees back down. Keep that going, lift, press it back, slowly lower it all the way down, lift, press it back and all the way down. Last time like that, lift those hips, and hold it there with those hips up towards the ceiling. Soften into those knees and then start to walk your feet forward until your feet are flat and you're hanging forward in a forward fold over those thighs. Softly bend the knees, grab onto opposite elbows, one in each hand. Let the head feel really heavy and just sway the body from left to right. And as you sway from side to side, feel any tightness you're holding in your spine, just melt away, head, neck, shoulders, any tension, any stress just melts and drips out of the body. Good, hold it still in the center, fingers drape down in front of you. Keep that softness in the knees. Take a big breath in and use the exhale to slowly round up through your spine, restacking all the way up through the spine until you come all the way up. Once you're up, open your legs a little bit wider, out to the sides. Take your left hand, slide it down the leg and your right arm's gonna reach up and over, reach those fingers away from you. Come all the way up and over to the other side. Hand slides down, reach up and away from you. Think about taking up space here, big breath in. Breath out to lift. Other side, big breath in and out to lift. We spend a lot of our days hunched over a phone, a computer, a laptop. So take the time to start your day feeling really open through the shoulders, through the chest, through the upper body. Give our posture the best chance possible. Keep it going. That's it, one more like that, each direction. Good, come all the way up. Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers and reach your arms behind you, stretching. Press those palms together behind your back and then just gently soften into the knees and we're gonna fold forward. Let the chest fold, let the arms reach up towards the ceiling, still pressing those palms together, nice deep bend in those knees. Reach those arms up and overhead as far as you can, big breath in. And out, hold it still, one more breath in. And as you breathe out, take the hands down and slowly round that body all the way up into stand. Hands down by your side, roll the shoulders back up and around just for three. And two, and one. And you are all done. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I hope that your bodies are feeling open and lengthened and ready for your day. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe to Ellen Good's YouTube channel and I'll see you very soon. Thanks so much.